today I'm going to be doing my August favorites and I've been consistent with my favorites this, this um, summer so I hope to continue when school starts which is just a couple days from now actually maybe by the time I upload to school would have already started but first I'm going to start off with my skin and I have been loving again I actually got back the Garnier um, Moisture Rescue gel and, and it looks like this cream on my blog a while back I will probably link that in the bottom bar and then I really loved it and I still love it now I actually had bought the Clinique um, Clinique dramatically different gel and I don't think it's worth it compared to this I don't think it um, moisturizes as well or sets in as fast as this one does so I really like this and this is just really affordable so again for not exactly my skin but in terms of makeup I have been liking these two palettes by oops these two palettes by Coastal Scents and one is the 10 blush palette and the next one is the 10 concealer palette now I got this one very recently if you watch my Coastal Scents unboxing haul you would have seen it but this I got for a gig, I know, right? So weird. I feel so weird saying that I had a gig. But I was using these colors on other people, on other people, and for myself, I use these two colors to make my skin tone, um, to make my perfect match. You know, right now I'm actually wearing it, and I don't think it needs setting as much as the older concealer that I had, because that would crease like crazy. And for blush, I am actually wearing this right now. This color from this palette, this really light pink. It's not like too light that you look like you washed out, but it's a very natural pink. And I like to wear this color. And the next color that I like is the Dolly Pink here, which reminds me of a matte shade that I cannot remember the name of. Um, either matte or a La Femme blush, which was a similar color. But I really like that too. Um, I've also been liking this setting powder by NYC. Um, it is called the Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And I have hauled this a while back. And it actually came really... It, sorry. It came in handy when I had my gig doing some makeup. And I really like it because it does last and it stays put. Like your face... It, take, it took me a while to get oily using it. I mean other people who slap more they would get oily a bit faster than me and you just have to reapply a bit but considering how hot it was when we were doing this thing because we were like filming and how well it looked on camera I was very surprised with it considering it was only $8 to be agent. Loving is this um, color corrector. This is a liquid color corrector by Coastal Scent and I bought this to mix in with my regular foundation um, with my um, shade of foundation, my liquid foundation in case I needed something darker while I was doing, you know, my stuff. Strangely, this, this, um, favorites is more like a favorites of what I use for a gig because that's the most makeup I was using this, um, this August. But yeah, this is awesome. I love it. It can make you look, if you have dark circles, it could deepen a foundation, but you have to be careful that you don't add too much. Otherwise, it looks a little bit dirty and muddy. But it's very convenient. You can even use it as a liquid liner if you feel like. Which moves me on to this product, which is the Coastal Scents Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in the color Jet. I love this. The brush is great. I actually just used this in my back to school tutorial. The second tutorial that I did, which was the more um, refined look. The more, um, I wouldn't say pretty, but more like if you have something important to do. But this eyeliner is so good. Like, I actually went to the beach in this eyeliner. Yeah, I know, right? Just to test out if it was waterproof. And surprisingly, it is very waterproof. Like, I was surprised that it didn't just um, melt off like the e.l.f. one I had a long time back. But instead, it actually lasted until I got home until it took, it took it off. And it took some effort to take it off, too. So I was very surprised by that. So the next thing I have been loving, as usual, my Maybelline Great Lash Big Mascara. I always am um, in love 
of this. This never fails me. I could wear this day and night, school, oh, doesn't matter. A little, a lot. I just love this mascara. I also got two more mascaras, but I don't know if I like them just as much as I like this, but we will see. Another product I have been loving lately is this blending brush from Coastal Scent, and you have seen me using this in many tutorials I've done lately, and this is supposed to be a dupe for the MAC 217 brush, or also the Sigma E25 blending brush um, that you used to get free with uh, their doll purchase. If you don't know about Sigma brushes, I will have a link below also where you can check out their website. They have really awesome brush sets or brushes singly and is a lot less expensive than matte brushes. But I heard the quality is just good. I really would like to get some Sigma brushes. Anyway, this brush from Coastal Scents, and this is really cheap too. And um, I really like this brush. Like The only part that really bugs me about it is that it frays out a lot. Like Not literally, just flips. Like it, it's not like it flips these side, it's dense and it blends well, but sometimes I feel like it gets too puffed out, you know what I mean? Like I want to see it flat again and all nice like when I first got it, but I guess I will need a brush shaper for that. I have been loving actually a clothing item, I know right? I don't really like clothing items, but I made this jacket, well not actually made a jacket, like I DIY'd this jacket for for just the fun of it and then I decided to wear it out when I was going to a club one time and I really liked it so I was actually trying to dye it and it would not dye for the life of me like I don't not dye what am I saying I was trying to bleach it and it would not bleach like I don't know why but I guess our bleach at home is old or something but what I did I cut off the sleeves of this jacket and I'm sure you actually saw me wearing this in some past videos but I cut out the sleeves and now it's like a vest and I also distressed it. Let me see. You could probably see the distressing that I did. I did quite a fine job on distressing it if I do say so myself. But this jacket goes with just about everything. I will show you quickly what it looks like. It starts right above here. Don't wear my pants. I'm just wearing, you know, post pants. And I also took it in a bit so that it fitted me a little bit more taper because I'm very skinny, as you could probably tell. And it was a little bit too loose, so I just made a dart and I stitched it in. And now it fits me a lot better. Like it actually looks kind of trendy. Yeah. So I really like this. I really like this jacket. Another favorite. I never thought I would actually, you know, mention is this necklace that I'm wearing right now. Twenty one, and it has this cute little. And then I love this. Um, when I saw it, it was on sale. Like we were buying stuff online, and this was on sale, I think, or it was buy one get one free for the sale items. And I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I must have this. And it is a minty green. Oops, let me show you properly. It's a minty green flower. Like it's a um, plastic flower, a diamante or a rhinestone flower with a pearl in the middle and then this one is just like silver with a pearl in the middle and the chain not the best quality I actually put no polish on it I put no polish on it so it would not um, turn too fast another thing you have also been seeing a lot of are these areas in my videos let me just show you them up close I actually get a lot of compliments on these I love these earrings actually my mom gave me them and believe it or not, this is stainless steel. Crazy, right? So it's not your typical costume jewelry. This is actually an earring which will not rust, it will not turn, and has some worth to it. And it looks really pretty. And I just like to wear this every. I like to wear these every single day. I just love these earrings, really. I'm so happy that my mom bought me them, and we actually got them from here in Barbados. I can't remember the name of the store. Or wait. Finally, for what I have been loving, I'm going to tell you the website I've been loving lately. I know it's not my blog, though you should check it out. Um, I have actually been loving CandyLovesYou.com. Her blog, she's actually changing it. Like before, she was just into hair. Something new with her blog. She's actually doing this project called The Promise Project. And like she's allowing other people to contribute to her blog. And they write inspirational quotes. Or there's this um, these two days called... Think about it, Thursday and talk it out Tuesday. 
right? And my friend Ashley was actually writing and making videos. We actually posted a lot of videos, like we recorded a whole set and then we posted some to her site. I go on the site occasionally and sometimes I comment or just read the post and you know, it's really interesting. There are a lot of people on it so if you want to go, um, go and check it out, you should go and do that because you never know, you might have a chance to be featured or what's not. But every day there's something different. Every single day, day there's something different on this. The last thing. Um, if I'm remembering, actually, no, this is not the last thing. I'm going to show you my new love. Um, please don't get jealous of me, or this is not like just for showing off. Say, I actually really needed something portable for school, for life in general. I got the Samsung Galaxy Tablet 2. I'm so excited about this. Like, I mean, my Wi-Fi is not even working at home, but yeah, still, I'm really excited. You're just going to just look at the home screen, and you know, I have different things here. I don't actually have a lot of things downloaded, but I have a good set. And yeah, my screen looks dirty right now, but don't mind that. I have versions of four versions of Angry Birds, and then I have Fruit Ninja, which I am in love with. Like, seriously, I'm so excited to play Fruit Ninja. Like, I was playing it earlier. Before I was filming this actually video. a gift. Just so it was just a gift. So I was really excited and thank you person who gave me it so much. Um but yeah, I have been loving that and finally for the song that has been in my head and probably everybody's head for the entire summer Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. I love that song. Like seriously really love that song. I just like I feel like dancing as soon as I hear it is like so come Try to chase me. Yeah, that's the words are. Anyway, I'm really rambling now. I hope you enjoy my school, my back to school series. I'm trying to get some outfit um, post done. I hope, 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 hope that I can get them done this Saturday and then I can have them up maybe Monday, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I hope for all your support. And I hope you enjoyed your summer. And uh, if you have any requests for videos actually i was requested to do a question and answer video which i'll record after this but i'll record me asking for questions all right let me stop rambling so okay bye bye come and put your name on it put your name on it come and put your name on it your name but you want to put your name on it put your name